The École Polytechnique Fédérale de Lausanne is a research institute and university in Lausanne, Switzerland, that specializes in natural sciences and engineering. It is one of the two Swiss federal institutes of technology, and it has three main missions education, research, and technology transfer at the highest international level. EPFL is widely regarded as a world leading university. The QS World University Rankings ranks EPFL 12th in the world across all fields in their 2017–2018 ranking, whilst Times Higher Education World University Rankings ranks EPFL as the world's 11th best school for engineering and technology. EPFL is located in the French-speaking part of Switzerland. The sister institution in the German-speaking part of Switzerland is the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology in Zurich, at Zurich. Associated with several specialized research institutes, the two universities form the Swiss Federal Institutes of Technology Domain which is directly dependent on the Federal Department of Economic Affairs, Education and Research. In connection with research and teaching activities, EPFL operates a nuclear reactor Crocus, a tokamak fusion reactor, a Blue Gene, Q supercomputer and P3 biohazard facilities. History The roots of modern-day EPFL can be traced back to the foundation of a private school under the name École Spéciale de Lausanne in 1853 at the initiative of Lois Rivière, a graduate of the École Centrale Paris and John Gay, the then professor and rector of the Académie de Lausanne. At its inception it had only eleven students and the offices was located at Rue du Valentin in Lausanne. In 1869, it became the technical department of the Public Académie de Lausanne. When the Académie was reorganized and acquired the status of a university in 1890, the technical faculty changed its name to École d'Ingénieurs de l'Université de Lausanne. In 1946, it was renamed the École Polytechnique de l'Université de Lausanne In 1969, the EPUL was separated from the rest of the University of Lausanne and became a federal institute under its current name. EPFL, like ETH Zurich, is thus directly controlled by the Swiss federal government. In contrast, all other universities in Switzerland are controlled by their respective cantonal governments. Following the nomination of Patrick Abisher as president in 2000, EPFL has started to develop into the field of life sciences. It absorbed the Swiss Institute for Experimental Cancer Research in 2008. In 1946, there were 360 students. In 1969, EPFL had 1,400 students and 55 professors. In the past two decades the university has grown rapidly and as of 2012 roughly 14,000 people study or work on campus, about 9,300 of these being bachelor, master or PhD students. As EPFL first became a federal institute under its current name in 1969, with a student body of then less than 1500, the university is included in the Times Higher Education list of top 100 universities under 50 years old. The environment at modern-day EPFL is highly international with the school now attracting top students and researchers from all over the world. More than 125 countries are represented on the campus and the university has two official languages, French and English. Topic. Admission and education Like every public university in Switzerland, EPFL is obliged to grant admission to every Swiss resident who took the Maturite High School certificate recognized by the Swiss Federation. However, international students are required to have a final grade average of 80% or above of the maximum grade of the upper secondary school national system. As such, for Swiss students, EPFL is not selective in its undergraduate admission procedures. The real selection process happens during the first year of study. This period is called the propedeutic cycle, and the students must pass a block examination of all the courses taken during the first year at the end of the cycle. If the weighted average is insufficient, a student is required to retake the entire first year of coursework if they wish to continue their studies at the school. Roughly 50% of students fail the first year of study, and many of them choose to drop out rather than repeat the first year. The failure rate for the propedeutic cycle differs between fields of study, it is highest for mathematics, physics and electrical engineering majors where only 30–40% of students pass the first year. 
For foreign students, the selection procedure towards the undergraduate program is rather strict, and since most undergraduate courses are taught in French, foreign students must provide documentation of having acquired a level B2 proficiency as measured on the CEF scale, though C1 proficiency is recommended. As at all universities in Switzerland, the academic year is divided into two semesters. Regular time to reach graduation is six semesters for the Bachelor of Science degree and four additional semesters for the Master of Science degree. Though only 58% of the students who manage to graduate are able to graduate within this time period. The possibility to study abroad for one or two semesters is offered during the third year of study under certain conditions as EPFL maintains several long-standing student exchange programs, such as the Junior Year Engineering and Science program with Carnegie Mellon University in the United States, as well as a Graduate Aeronautics and Aerospace program with the ISAE in France. The final semester is dedicated to writing a thesis. Entrepreneurship is actively encouraged to foster a startup culture among the student body as evident by the EPFL Innovation Park being an integral part of campus. Since 1997, 12 startups have been created per year on average by EPFL students and faculty. In the year 2013, a total of 105 million Swiss francs was raised by EPFL startups. Topic: Rankings The three most widely observed international university rankings, QS World University Rankings, Academic Ranking of World Universities and Times Higher Education World University Rankings rank CPFL 5th, 2nd and 5th respectively in Europe in their 2017 rankings. In the rankings EPFL competes with Cambridge, Oxford, Imperial College London and its sister institution, ETH Zurich, for the European top five spots in engineering and technology. QS World University Ranking 2017-2018 ranks EPFL as the world's 12th best university across all fields, and world 11th in the Natural Sciences subcategory. Academic Ranking of World Universities 2016 ranks EPFL world 11th and Europe 2nd in the Engineering, Technology and Computer Sciences category. The World University Rankings 2016-2017 ranks EPFL World 11th in the Engineering and Technology subcategory. EPFL typically scores high on faculty to student ratio, international outlook and scientific impact. The specialized CWTS Leiden ranking that aims to provide highly accurate measurements of the scientific impact of universities. Ranks EPFL World 13th and 1st in Europe in the 2013 rankings for all the sciences. Although EPFL generally ranks among the world's best universities on measures such as Citation Index, International Outlook and Scientific Impact, due to the young age and small size of the school, it tends to rank comparatively low in name brand surveys. A recent example of this being the Times 2017 Reputation Ranking where EPFL was ranked world 45th, comparatively low for EPFL. In recent years, multiple EPFL faculty members have been selected as young global leader or as young scientist by the World Economic Forum, increasing the visibility of EPFL outside tech circles. The Times 100 Under 50 rankings is a ranking of the top 100 universities in the world under 50 years old. Since EPFL in its current form was formed in 1969, EPFL is included in this ranking. EPFL was ranked first in the world for three years in a row in 2015, 2016 and 2017. Times Higher Education also ranked EPFL as the most international university in the world two years in a row 2014 and 2015. Campus The École d'Ingénieurs de l'Université de Lausanne, from which EPFL in its modern-day form originates, was located in the center of Lausanne. In 1974, five years after EPFL was separated from University of Lausanne and became a federal institute under its current name, the construction of a new campus at Dorigny in Aquiblens, a suburb southwest of Lausanne on the shores of Lake Geneva, began. The inauguration of the first EPFL buildings of the new campus took place in 1978. The EPFL campus has been evolving ever since. The first stage of the development plans, with a total budget of 462 million Swiss francs, was completed in 1984 and in 1990 the second stage was completed. The construction of the northern parts of campus began in 1995 with the construction of the Microtechnology Building, completed in 1998, and the Architecture Building, completed in 2000. 
In 2002, the Department of Architecture also moved to the campus in Aqueblins, uniting all departments of EPFL on the same site. The latest addition to the EPFL campus is the Rolex Learning Center completed February 2010. The Rolex Learning Center includes areas for work, leisure and services and is located at the center of the campus. The EPFL campus is now being expanded with the construction of the Swisstech Convention Center inaugurated in March 2014. Together with the University of Lausanne, also located in Aqueblins, the EPFL forms a vast campus, welcoming about 20,000 students, at the shores of Lake Geneva. The campus is served by the Lausanne Metro Line 1 M1 and is equipped with an electric bicycle sharing system. Since 2012, only electricity from certified hydroelectric generation is being bought by EPFL to power its campus. EPFL was the first campus to receive the International Sustainable Campus Excellence Award by the International Sustainable Campus Network. Of the 14,000 people that work and study at the École Polytechnique Fédérale de Lausanne campus, roughly 9.300 are students in either bachelor, master, or doctoral programs, the remaining 4,700 being administrative staff, scientists, technical staff, professors, and the entrepreneurs located in the Science Park EPFL 7. More than 125 nationalities are present on campus with 48% of the student population being foreign nationals. Almost all of the structures of the EPFL are located on its main campus. However, it also has branches in Neuchâtel, Microcity, in Sion, Pole EPFL Valley, in Geneva, Campus Biotech, including the Wyss Center for Bio and Neuroengineering and in Fribourg, Smart Living Lab. The EPFL also has a project of research center in Ras Al Khaimah, United Arab Emirates, EPFL Middle East. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Buildings. The campus consists of about 65 buildings on 136 acres, 55 hectares. Built according to the growth of the school, the campus includes different types of architectures. Late 1970s to 1980s, modularized building, used today by the schools of basic sciences and architecture, civil and environmental engineering, mechanical and electrical engineering 1990s, buildings with institutes from the schools of engineering sciences and techniques, computer and communication sciences, and the scientific park PSE. Modern, new buildings 2002 to 2004 with microengineering, communications and architecture institutes, the School of Life Sciences and the College of Management. The Learning Center, a new library 2010 2014, the Swistec Convention Center and the Cartier Nord Convention Center, student accommodation, shops The Art Lab was opened in November 2016, it includes three spaces open to the public. The first one hosts archives from the Montreux Jazz Festival, the second is a space for museum experimentations. The third space, named Data Square, hosts an exposition on big data, illustrated by two scientific projects from EPFL, the Human Brain Project and the Venice Time Machine. The EPFL and the University of Lausanne also share an active sports center five minutes away from EPFL, on the shores of Lake Geneva. Facilities Facilities are available on the campus for the students and staff Libraries, the Learning Center Restaurants, Le Copernic and La Table de Velotten Cafeterias, La Coupole, La Corbusia, La Parmentia, La Vinci, BMX, Batiment des Materiaux, BC, Batiment des Communications, Lacadie, La Hodler, La Clay, Lorna Thoring Bar, Satellite Travel agencies, Swiss Federal Railways and Star Travel Banks, Credit Suisse and Postfinance Radio, Frequence Banain Student Radio Conference Center, the Swisstech Convention Center Museums, Musée Bololo and Archizoom Student Housing, Cartier Nord Atrium, and Les Estudiantines <laughs> Satellite campuses Microcity in Neuchâtel, a temple dedicated to innovation. Patrick Abisha. EPFL Fribourg. The EPFL Fribourg outpost develops its activities in the fields of technology, construction, and sustainable architecture. 
Besides the activities of advanced research, it designs, with the School of Engineering and Architecture HEIAFR and the University of Fribourg, the Smart Living Lab, a new interuniversity pole of competence. Its location at the heart of the Blue Factory Innovation Park will allow it to exploit the development potential of public-private partnerships offered by this opportunity and will contribute to the future National Innovation Park. EPFL website EPFL also has satellite facilities in Sion, Geneva and Basel. Language <inaudible> Center <inaudible> 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 The Language Center is a service provided by the École Polytechnique Fédérale to help international students and staff to learn and improve their international language skills covering French, German, Italian and English levels A1 to C2, see the CEFR language levels. The language learning program it offers is reserved for EPFL students and personnel, for their spouse paying French courses only and for collaborators of the Confederation. Tandems are also organized and set up within the framework of the tandem program of the arts faculty, EFLE. It includes two people of different mother tongues who meet regularly to teach each other their respective languages. <laughs> <laughs> Students and traditions Student <laughs> 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 body <laughs> The number of students attending studying at EPFL has been rising heavily since EPFL was formed in 1969 under its current name. In 1969 EPFL had roughly 1400 students, that number had grown to 2,367 by 1982, 4,302 by 1997, 9,921 students in 2014, and 10,536 students at the end of 2016. Within the student body, 112 different nationalities are represented. In the period from 1982 to 2014 the female proportion of the student body has increased from 12% to 27%. The proportion of female students is lowest at the School of Computer Science and Communication, 15%, and highest at the School of Life Sciences, 49%. <laughs> Associations. The school encourages the formation of associations and sports activities on campus. As of 2012 more than 79 associations exist on campus for recreational and social purposes. In addition, the school has its own monthly newspaper, Flash. Included in the 79 associations are Age Poly is the Students' Association of the EPFL. The purpose of Age Poly is to represent the EPFL's students, defend the general interests of the students and inform and consult its members on decisions of the EPFL direction that concern them. The Forum is an EPFL student association responsible for organization of the Forum EPFL. The Forum was founded in 1982 as a platform for exchange and meeting between the academic and professional communities. Today, the Forum EPFL is one of the largest recruiting events in Europe, and the largest in Switzerland. UNIPOLY is the EPFL Association for Sustainable Development. The association works to create awareness of sustainable development and on campus and in western Switzerland. UNIPOLY is part of the World Student Community for Sustainable Development, an international network of student organizations for sustainable development consisting of EPFL, ETH Zurich, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, University of Tokyo, University of Fort Hare, University of Nairobi, Chalmers, and University of Yaoundé. Music festivals Several music festivals are held yearly at EPFL. The largest one is the Balalek Festival, organized in May each year since 1981. The festival welcomes 15,000 visitors to around 30 concerts. The performances take place on two outdoor stages and four indoor halls. Other smaller festivals include Seismic, organized in November by the students of the Department of Microengineering, hosting two stages for local and national bands, and Artifis, organized by the students of the Physics Department. Archimedean Oath The EPFL was the birthplace of the Archimedean Oath, proposed by students in 1990. 
The Archimedean Oath has since spread to a number of European engineering schools. The Archimedean Oath is an ethical code of practice for engineers and technicians, similar to the Hippocratic Oath used in the medical world. I commit to keeping completely, to the full extent of my capacities and judgment, the following promises, I shall use my knowledge for the benefit of mankind. I shall not put my skill to the service of people who do not respect human rights. I shall not permit consideration regarding religion, nationality, race, sex, wealth and politics to harm people affected by my actions. I shall bear the entire responsibility for my actions and shall in no way discharge them on another. I shall practice in respect for the environment. I shall not use my knowledge for destructive purposes. I shall practice my profession in complete intellectual honesty, with conscience and dignity. I solemnly take this oath, freely and on my honor. <laughs> EPFL Alumni Network The mission of EPFL alumni is to provide graduates of the École Polytechnique Fédérale de Lausanne an exclusive, international network and a strong and lasting relationship upon graduation. To do this, EPFL alumni offers graduates a directory full of over 30,000 contacts of EPFL graduates across the globe with access reserved to alumni. It furthermore provides them with opportunities for meeting, training and consulting. EPFL alumni creates a platform for exchange and services on topics as diverse as career, expatriation, research, entrepreneurship and volunteerism. EPFL alumni ensures that graduates can benefit from the support of older peers by fostering opportunities to meet in Switzerland or abroad. In 2018, a new initiative was launched for alumni to mentor young graduates and prepare them for the EPFL Forum event as well as their first steps in the professional world. EPFL alumni is aided in this task by local and international chapters, whose committed volunteers invigorate the local alumni network. EPFL alumni has built a strong international network of chapters in different parts of Switzerland and throughout the world. These antennas enrich the communities of nearby graduates. They are able to independently offer activities, conferences and outings, with financial and logistical support from EPFL alumni. By joining EPFL alumni, every EPFL alumnus would have the opportunity to have a unique alumni EPFL email address, Alamist Magazine, EPFL's Scientific Magazine, Career Services, EPFL Services Wi-Fi, Library, Gym, etc., temporary office space at EPFL and internationally at Swissnex Hubs and major formal events at EPFL. Scientific partners. EPFL is the official scientific advisor of Alinghi, twice winners of the America's Cup 2003 and 2007. Solar Impulse is a Swiss long-range solar-powered aircraft project developed at EPFL. The project has now achieved the first circumnavigation of the world using only solar power. The Hydropteri, is an experimental sailing hydrofoil that in 2009 broke the world speed sailing record, sustaining a speed of 52.86 knots for 500 meters in 30 knots of wind EPFL contributed to the construction of SWISSCUBE-1. It is the first satellite entirely built in Switzerland. It was put into orbit on 23 September 2009 by the Indian launcher PSLV. To better understand the relationship between nutrition and the brain, EPFL and the Nestlé Research Center has signed a five-year agreement providing 5 million Swiss francs each year for the creation of two new chairs at the EPFL Brain Mind Institute. Logitech and EPFL has announced the creation of the EPFL Logitech Incubator that will provide financial, educational and operational support in entrepreneurship to researchers and students. Breitling Orbiter 3 became the first balloon to circumnavigate the Earth non-stop in March 1999. The balloon was piloted by Bertrand Picard and Brian Jones. Solar Impulse 2 completed the first circumnavigation of the Earth by a piloted fixed-wing aircraft using only solar power. The plane was piloted alternatively by André Borschberg and Bertrand Picard. The Human Brain Project is the successor of the EPFL Blue Brain Project. The project is directed by EPFL and involves 86 institutions across Europe. The total cost is estimated at €1.190 billion. Euros. 
EPFL has hosted the UNESCO Chair in Technologies for Development since 2007, where notable papers are presented by experts in the field. In 2014, Mobile Financial Services in Disaster Relief, Modeling Sustainability was presented by technology analyst, David Garrity. Topic organization EPFL is organized into eight schools, themselves formed of institutes that group research units, laboratories or chairs, around common themes, School of Basic Sciences SB, Jan S. Hesthaven, Institute of Mathematics Math, Asa Abdul, Institute of Chemical Sciences and Engineering ISIC, Emsley Linden, Institute of Physics IPHYS, Harold Brune, European Center of Atomic and Molecular Computations CECAM, Ignacio Paganabaragamora, Bernoulli Center, CIB, Nicolas Mono, Biomedical Imaging Research Center, CIBM, Rolf Gruter, Interdisciplinary Center for Electron Microscopy, CIME, Cecile Hebert, Max Planck EPFL Center for Molecular Nanosciences and Technology, CMNT, Thomas Rizzo, Swiss Plasma Center, SPC, Ambrogio Vasily, School of Engineering, STI, Ali Syed, Institute of Electrical Engineering, IEL, Giovanni de Micheli, Institute of Mechanical Engineering, IGM, Thomas Gmer, Institute of Materials IMX, Michaud Veronique, Institute of Microengineering, IMT, Olivier Martin, Institute of Bioengineering, IBI, Matthias Lutolf, School of Architecture, Civil and Environmental Engineering, ENAC, Marilyn Anderson, Institute of Architecture, IA, Luca Ortelli, Civil Engineering Institute, IIC, Eugen Bruweiler, Institute of Urban and Regional Sciences, INTER, Philippe Thalman, Environmental Engineering Institute, IIE, David Andrew Barry, School of Computer and Communication Sciences, IC, James Larris, Algorithms and Theoretical Computer Science Artificial Intelligence and Machine Learning Computational Biology Computer Architecture and Integrated Systems Data Management and Information Retrieval Graphics and Vision Human Computer Interaction Information and Communication Theory Networking Programming Languages and Formal Methods Security and Cryptography Signal and Image Processing Systems School of Life Sciences SV, Gassou van der Goot, Bachelor Master Teaching Section in Life Sciences and Technologies SSV, Brain Mind Institute, BMI, Carmen Sandy, Institute of Bioengineering, IBI, Melody Swartz, Swiss Institute for Experimental Cancer Research, ISIEC, Douglas Hanahan, Global Health Institute, GHI, Stuart T. Cole, 10 Technology Platforms and Core Facilities, PTECH, Center for Phenogenomics, CPG, NCCR, Synaptic Bases of Mental Diseases, NCCRSYNAPSY, College of Management of Technology, CDM, Christopher Tucci, Swiss Finance Institute at EPS, FL, CDMSFI, Damir Filipovic, Section of Management of Technology and Entrepreneurship, CDMPMTE, Daniel Kuhn, Institute of Technology and Public Policy, CDMITPP, Matthias Finger, Institute of Management of Technology and Entrepreneurship, CDMMTEI, Ralph Seifert, Section of Financial Engineering, CDMIF, Julian Hugonia, College of Humanities, CDH, Thomas David, Human and Social Sciences Teaching Program, CDHSHS, Thomas David, EPFL Middle East EME, Dr. Franco Vigliotti, Section of Energy Management and Sustainability, MES, Professor Mark Heil. In addition to the eight schools, there are seven closely related institutions Swiss Cancer Center, Center for Biomedical Imaging, CIBM, Center for Advanced Modeling Science, CADMOS, École Cantonale d'Art de Lausanne, ECAL, Campus Biotech. Swiss Center for Bio and Neuroengineering Swiss National Supercomputing Center Topic Notable Affiliates Topic Presidents The school had directors from 1853 to 1969 in 1969, the school was separated from the rest of the University of Lausanne and became a federal institute. The presidents are Maurice Cozendi, director 1963 to 1969 and president 1969 to 1978. Bernard Vitoz, 1978 to 1992. Jean-Claude Bedou, 1992 to 2000. Patrick Abisha, 2000 to 2016. Martin Vettely, 2017. Topic: Professors. Topic: Alumni. 
Guy Beraya, Chief Executive of Sage Group. Mattia Bonotto, Chief Technical Officer of Scuderia Ferrari. AART de GEU's Chairman, Founder and CEO of Synopsis. George de Mestral, Electrical Engineer, Inventor of Velcro. Eric Favre, Inventor of Nespresso, the first single serve coffee container. Andre Gortz, Austrian French philosopher and economist. Martin Vettely, scientist in the field of digital signal processing, president of the Swiss National Science Foundation. Daniel Borel, co-founder of Logitech. Frank Riboud, CEO of Danon. Andre Kudelski, CEO of Kudelski. Francesco Mondada, Swiss engineer in the field of robotics and artificial intelligence. Jean Daniel Nickard, Swiss computer scientist. Othman Benjelin, Moroccan businessman. Daniel Brellers, Swiss mathematician, politician and environmentalist. Stefan Kudelski, industrialist, inventor of the Nagra. Luke Recorden, Swiss politician. Andre Borschberg, businessman and pilot, founder of the Solar Impulse project. Jacques Dubachet, winner of the 2017 Nobel Prize in Chemistry. Igor Perisic, chief data officer of LinkedIn. Maxime Vachelagrave, French chess grandmaster. Topic: Doctorates honoris causa. The EPFL has awarded a doctorate honoris causa to several people. Topic: Gallery. Topic. Buildings and campus Topic Projects and Partnerships Human Brain Project, a large 10-year scientific research project, established in 2013, coordinated by Professor Henry Markram and largely funded by the European Union. It aims to provide a collaborative informatics infrastructure and first draft rodent and human whole brain models within its 10-year funding period. It includes 112 research partners in 24 countries in Europe as well as outside Europe. See also Science and technology in Switzerland Swiss Electromagnetics Research and Engineering Centre Top Industrial Managers for Europe Swisstech Convention Center Green Building on College Campuses Technologist – Magazine published by Eurotech Universities Notes and references Bibliography <inaudible> 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 In French, Histoire de l'école polytechnique de Lausanne, 1953 to 1978, Presses Polytechniques et Universitaires Romans, 1999, ISBN 9782880743956. In French, Michel Pont, Chronique de l'Epfel 1978 to 2000, Presses Polytechniques et Universitaires Romans, 2010, ISBN 9782880748760 In French, Libero Zappiroli, La Boule Universitaire. Faut il poursuivre la rive américaine? The Academic Bubble. Should we pursue the American Dream? Editions Den Bass, 2010, 176 pages, ISBN 978-2-8290-0385-1. The first part, entitled, Le Parcours Exemplaire du Swiss Institute of Technology Lausanne. The exemplary path of the Swiss Institute of Technology in Lausanne, is about the change of the EPFL after the appointment of Patrick Abisher as president. <laughs> <laughs> External links Official website Official portrait EPFL News' channel on YouTube, EPFL Students' channel on YouTube Associations at EPFL EPFL Virtual Tour EPFL Innovation Park Balalek Festival <laughs>